guys, it's Shimmy. So today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful little tag pockets. I get this idea from Vintage Girl 18. I believe that it's out. my friend Alice. Sorry, sometimes I get her the name of her channel wrong. But anyway, these are super simple to make. Um, hers are a little bit, she has a lot more embellishment. She did very simple painting, but they're really, really cute. Um, so this is my version. I wanted to do kind of a mixed media kind of version because I love mixed media. I love combining um, different medias to make something really beautiful. So mine are more artsy than hers, but I will link the video below. You definitely want to check her video out. She has a great channel. I love her channel. Um, she gives me such great ideas. So anyway, so all you're gonna, all you need for this is a tag. So this is a tag from a jelly print. Um, someone sent me a whole stack of beautiful jelly prints. So I just took this tag that I got from Hobby Lobby and I traced around it and then I cut it out. Very, very simply, okay? And then um, you're gonna need a piece of like scratch paper. This is some handmade paper and I put a quote on there, but I'll explain that in a little bit. And then you just need some trim and um, some just some simple embellishments. But first, we're gonna paint this one. So if you did not have jelly prints and you wanted it to be painted, I'm gonna show you a super simple technique. So what I have here is just some cheap acrylic paint, my favorite. <laughs> and um, I just start with one color at a time, very, very simply. And then I just take a baby wipe and what I love about this is that it kind of takes away a lot of the color and it gives it this really beautiful kind of smashed look, which is so pretty. And I just put the color in different spots and you're gonna do front and back this way. And you're just gonna add just a little bit more. It's probably perfect for this. And then I just get a new piece of the baby wipe for um, the new colors that I add. I stick to like three colors and purple and blue and green, or this beautiful green, um, are like my favorite. So that's what I use, okay? I kind of have to make myself expand a little bit into other colors, but those are just my favorites. <laughs> and take it, and again, we're gonna just rub that in. I'm gonna try to get just a little bit of blue on there since I did quite a bit of green but it gives it a really cool kind of watercolor effect, but really awesome. Take it and we'll put some of that pretty blue on the back. Okay, we're gonna do some of, move this out of the way because I'll need that for later. Some of the purple, and you're just gonna take dobs, that's it. Just little dobs of color. Okay, and then we'll add the green. And it's just a fun technique. I think Alice used gelatos for hers, which, you know, I know that everyone likes gelatos, but I tried to use them. Um, they're not my favorite. I just don't like that you can't write over them really. Like, um, and once they're down, they're pretty much down. But it's definitely cool, but they're not something that I use. I did buy some, so maybe I'll have to play with them a little bit more. But I kind of am in love with paint, <laughs> as you can see. Okay, so that looks perfect. So you're just gonna let that dry. You could put splatters on it. You could kind of do whatever you wanted. Um, I will stamp this too in a second. And I'm gonna actually stamp this one. Cause like I said, I like mixed media. So uh, that's how I'm going to do these in this style. But before we ink it up, put that back on, we are going to make the pocket. Now what I did here is I made some DIY washi tape just with some tissue paper that I jelly printed on and that's it. So all you do to make the pocket is you want to leave about, let me give you guys measurements if I can here, about an inch and a half from the top of the tag to where it comes up and then you're just going to take it and just seal it. Okay, so you can take your scissors or a bone folder and you just create a nice little crease. So see, you have a little pocket here. Okay, then you're gonna take your washi tape or your DIY um, washi tape, and I'll link the video below if you wanna know how to make this. It's super simple, but you can use regular washi tape or you can just use a glue stick too. That would work great too. So either way, no worries. I'm just gonna take it and 
open it up just like that. Okay. But these are so fun to make, just like that, okay? And then we'll just take it and we'll trim it off. And we'll fold it over. And see, it's sealed, okay? And then we're gonna do that with the other end too. Now I do the stamping after I get it folded up, but you don't have to do that. Take it again, and we're gonna trim it, and just fold it over, just like that, okay? So you have this little pocket here. Now I'm going to use this bold text stamp. I love text, text stamps, they're my favorite. Um, although I do need some that are not mounted. I'll have to, that'll be my next investment. I think it just gives kind of a prettier effect. Good, and we'll do front and back, just like that, okay? Alrighty, perfect, okay. So once you're done, now you can start um, embellishing it a little bit. So um, just get out your fibers and things that you think that you would like to use. I don't, I was thinking about using this, but it might be a little too bold. I think I like this. Pam gave me this um, in Happy Mail. She wrapped up a gift. Well, it was it was a for a, a collaboration that we did. So she wrapped it in this beautiful fiber. So I think I'm gonna use that. So pretty. Okay. And at this point, it's just fun. You're just gonna embellish any way that you'd like. Hopefully, this will come out. Most of the time I've been using a skewer. It's at that last little bit, you know. Come on, come out for me. Okay, well, when in doubt, use your hands. Yeah, I'm definitely not a neat crafter. I love using my hands, so. Okay, and you're just gonna create that, like that, and then I'm just gonna add my piece of fiber here, just like that. And then I am going to grab some of these beautiful flowers that I made. Which, what did I do? Let me grab those, they're right here. And they're made from jelly prints, so I'm gonna grab one that I think will go with all of the colors here. I'm gonna do green, green and blue. I don't like that one. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we'll use that one. I think that that's oh good. Okay, gotta put that aside over there. Grab a little bit more glue. Put a double on the back there. I'm gonna add that, and then I'm going to let it dry. Okay, and in the meantime, we'll finish up the other one. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the excess of my fiber that I have here. And um, you can get beautiful yarns. Most of people like leave them at the thrift store. So that's where I get a lot of my fibers is actually from the thrift store. Just look where they have yarn and you can find some really cool ones. Okay, so this one's done. It's pretty much dry. And we're going to do the exact same thing, okay? But this time I'm going to use regular washi tape. I wanted to show you guys both ways. So we're going to take it again, and we're going to leave about an inch or two up here, um, and we're going to make a pocket, okay? Just like that. Alrighty. I'm going to kind of put those on the side here. Okay. Then I'm going to take some washi tape which um, this was sent to me in a pocket letter. So that's what I'm gonna use. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, reinforce it. I'm not gonna do that. I think that it'll stay okay. And these are really great. You can put them in journals, which is super cute. Um, you can, you know, put them in flip books if you're doing the flip book thing, and I'll have a tutorial on that too um, coming up. You can just do so much with these little guys. You can send them in Happy Mail. Um, I did make mine a little special. I added a little homemade quote card, and I'll show you how to make that in a second. 
Um, yeah, so just have fun with it. They look really good in a journal, but I think they're really cute just to give to all your crafty friends. Or maybe you're not so crafty friends too. <laughs> okay, just like that. Perfect. But it's always great to have some washi tape on. That worked out perfectly. So then we're going to do the exact same thing. So um, you could definitely use burlap. That would be pretty too. Or you could use lace. I think for this one I'm going to use some lace. So again, I'm going to just use my fingers because this glue is not working with me here. Okay, get some out. Alrighty. And I'm just going to make a line of glue here. And you know what? It's okay if it's not perfect. You guys know what kind of crafter I am. If it's not fun, I'm going to do it. And I'm not a perfectionist at all. So you just stick it on there. And it's all about having fun. Okay, so you put, I put some lace down. Okay, and if you wanted to, I mean, you could really embellish these and make them super, super, super pretty. Now, I also got um, some, some little things in Happy Mail that I think I'm going to use for this one. I need to hear my desk is kind of... I've been working on lots of projects today, so this little guy. And um, Annie sent me this. She has a YouTube channel for Happy Mail one time, so I figure I can use that one. Or she sent me these, but she had this beautiful punch. I can't find it. I've been looking for it. Um, just fun. And she just makes them from her drop paper. I'll link her channel below, too. She has some cool stuff. Just stick it right down there. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could leave it like that, but I like to add a little bit of bling, okay? Alrighty, so I'm going to kind of press that down, and then I'm going to grab a skewer here, and we're going to make some little dots for a few little jewels in the middle here. So I'm going to do, I think, about six. Okay, and I'm going to stick with, I think, purples and blues, maybe a clear one, but I'm just adding the jewels, and I'll bring it up close so you can see it, but I think it adds a little bit, and I'm, I love little jewels. They're so fun to use. Let me just add something, a little something fun to whatever you're doing, I think, at least. Alrighty, and I think I have a purple one too. Oops, I pulled off a whole strip of them, guys. Did you guys see my nails are painted? I know they're hard. They're never painted, but my mom took me to get a manicure. So that was fun and a pedicure a couple days ago. So they're painted They're The paint is already coming off, but they are painted. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys since my nails are never painted, but here we go. So see, I just added a little bit of a jewel there. See, so it just has a pretty jewel center. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my scissors, which are underneath everything on my messy desk here, and <laughs> kind of, and that did not stay down at all. Got to add some more glue there. Good. Now, if you want, you can ink these up, which I'll probably do in a few minutes. I just like it. Um, I just love to ink the edges of things. I think it just really defines it. Okay, so that's how that one looks. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. Okay, now we are going to make our little journal cards. Now you could, you know, go buy them and that'd be great. Or you can make your own, which is fun. So they're little quote cards. Um, Alice bought some, I guess, like Project Life, which I'm not familiar with that, but um, they they have them and you can buy them and they fit perfectly in little pockets, but I wanted to make mine. Okay, and I'll give you the sides of the 
of um, the tags too. I forgot to do that part. So you kind of know what I'm working with here. So I just have a quote that I printed off of my computer and I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit. I love quotes. The one says, an unexamined life is not worth it living. And the other one says, those who are to live are those who fight. Which is true. Sometimes we have to, you know, fight against our demons or fight against all sorts of things. We can't give up. Even though sometimes it's easy to do that. So um, I just love that quote. It always speaks to me. So I just have a bunch of small quotes that I put in a Microsoft um, Word document and they're kind of small, they're short ones which is great and um, yeah I just print them out whenever I need them, cut them up and I have a little bit of a little quote that I can put on a tag or put in a project and it's really great. This is so awesome. I get to use some jelly prints that a subscriber sent me and some Happy Mail too from Annie who's also a subscriber. And this is Alice's wonderful idea, which is great, but hers are different. So you'll have to check hers out too. She makes like the cutest stuff. It's just adorable. It's really cute, okay? And then now I'm gonna make like a little puller, a little tag um, for the top of this little card here. And this is handmade paper too, which I love. I love the pattern, isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that is. It has all those beautiful fibers in it. So gorgeous. And that is from mulberrypaperandmore.com. I'm looking for my tacky glue here. I think I have to whip out another bottle here. I'm just gonna take it add it to both sides and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to add a little bit of glue there and it'll just be something that I can pull. That's it. And I kind of pull it up just a little bit. Super cute. And it's just a little pulley and those are your journaling cards. Now um, you could embellish them further like you could you know outline the words and make it really fancy. I'm gonna keep these kind of simple. I might do that later but for right now no. Uh, but yeah that's it. And then I have an, my makeup sponge here and I am gonna ink these babies up. Just because I think that it adds definition, as I said. But you don't have to do this part. It's so fun. You guys are so creative. Like, I show you something and you totally take it, which is great, and make it your own, which I love. But you know, that's what this channel is about. It's about inspiring everyone to be super creative, and you guys totally are, because so many of my friends tell me all the time, I'm not creative, I can't do that, and I'm like, you're totally creative. You just don't believe it. Okay, so I am going to let these dry and then I'll come back and actually, I wonder if they're drying now. Oh yeah, I think actually we're good. I do have to let that other one dry though, the red one. So yeah, we'll let them dry and I will come back and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, okay guys, so sorry. Right so, um, they are all done, okay? So all you're gonna do is you just put in your journaling card. I did ink it, um, but I like to ink the outside of it too. So that one's inked, this one is not yet. So I just take it and I just take my waterproof ink or archival ink, black archival ink, and I just go around. And I only have one archival ink and it's black. Um, and that's the majority of the one that I use. I've had this for almost a year and it works really great. So if that's something, if you do a lot of mixed media, I do recommend buying um, one of these ink pads, but um, use a coupon. So this was only $3 with a coupon. So, all right, now for the tags. So these are the tags and they measure five and a quarter by two and six inches okay 
that's the measurement for them okay so they're the large size basically tags and you can buy these at Hobby Lobby they're $1.99 you get 15 tags and a lot of times I buy them like that and I use them as a template to create my own custom tag so all you do is just stick this in here like that and it has a little quote on it now if you wanted to you could further embellish this but I think it's perfect just the way it is and then you just stick that one in there too and whoever receives it has a little card that they can pull out now if you wanted to you could add a little something to the hole maybe a button or something like that and that would be cute here's more than I made before and there was that's another one of those beautiful flowers that Annie gave to me from her beautiful drop paper but I just love how they turned off and um, this is handmade paper too from mulberry and more it's their beautiful sparkly paper it's so pretty okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial sorry it was a little long um don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to like and subscribe please check out alice's channel she has amazing tutorials you'll have a lot of fun there and um tell her i said hi okay and um i will see you guys next time have a fabulous day oh i did want to say for the ones that i used that were made from jelly prints the jelly prints were one-sided so i just took a little bit of acrylic paint and i just kind of scraped it see like this one so I had the jelly prints on this side and then I just took some paint and I just used my fingers and painted it a little bit. I'm um, just to kind of coordinate with the side of the jelly print because you want you don't want like a white side. You definitely want some kind of pattern on the back. Absolutely. And um, this one I did not stamp on. And this one is stamped. So that one I just used my textural stamp and I stamped on. Yeah, so it's a really fun project. I hope you guys try it out and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and give me that thumbs up and share this video if you know anyone that would like to see it. And if you happen to make one of these beautiful tags, I hope that you will show me I'm on Instagram now so you can just look me up. It's just my name, Shami Dixon, and I would love to see your beautiful tag holders or your beautiful tag pockets. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.